The little clothespin rosette is decorative and my package will already include it completed. It is just for decorations, um, but I do want to show you how to recreate one in case you want to create some in the future. So um, let's go ahead and get started. These are the supplies you will need if you want to recreate your own clothespin clip with the little rose and flower. This little flower, I was inspired by another YouTube channel. Her name is Septeria18. She is very creative, very inspiring. So I recommend again, Septeria18. You're going to punch out two one and a half inch circles, one three quarter circle, and I'm embellishing the top with a heart, but if you don't have heart, you can use a flower or don't add anything at all. I've even created them with gems, with diamonds and pearls in the middle, but that's for another video. Um, and you'll also need your little small clothespin. So to create it, what you're going to do is the whole trick is that you're going to just fold, like you're going to pleat it almost. You're going to pleat this circle. And when you're doing that, you're breaking down the fibers of your paper. Right? So that's what we're doing with all of our circles. And again, this clip will come completed in your package. But this is how you recreate them. Small one. Now we're going to start gluing our pieces together. So I'm going to use wet glue. You can also use hot glue telling you when you start to learn how to make these you would make multiple this is a great way to use up some of your paper scraps press down and my last my little heart okay and now on your clothespin, not at the mouth area, but on the handle itself is where you're going to add your hot glue. And then you attach your circle rosette. Just like that. To create your own paperclip pom-poms, what you need are paper clips the pom-poms you'll need a 3 4 circle punch and then some scrap paper so your step one is you're going to punch out your circles you're going to take your circle add hot glue take your paper clip and make sure it's the top portion not the bottom the top portion sit it in the hot glue just like that and then attach your pom-pom to the hot glue just like that press it down this does get really hot so I'm warning you guys another way of doing it is if you have a silicone mat have your circle add your hot glue Add your paper clip, the top portion, to your glue. And then add your pom-pom. And then it's easier to press down. Less chance of you getting burned. And because it is on a silicone mat, even though the glue gets on the mat, it doesn't stick to the mat. Keep that in mind. Anything silicone, hot glue will not stick to. So clean this up the best you can before it completely dries, just like that. And then the hot glue, you can just rub it right off your silicone mat. And that's how you create your paper clip pom-poms. To make the holder for our paper clip pom-poms, you need a piece of chipboard that measures two by five and a piece of paper that measures two by 12. You're going to take your chipboard, add glue, and 
And now we're going to attach to our paper. And I like to start here, leaving just a little bit of an overhang. Use your table to make sure you align that. Use your bone folder for a nice press. Add glue. I'm first gonna fold the bottom piece up. Just like that. And then flip. Just like that. Now this portion I'm just going to trim. And that's it. Now you need two pieces of paper that measure two by five. You're going to fold them in half. And I'm actually gonna use the alternating side, right? You're going to take your bands and now you're going to wrap them around your um, holder. Just like that. Now I'm going to try not to make it too tight because we do want to fit our paper clips in here. Before we glue down, I'm just going to figure out the placement. Like that. And then make sure that at the bottom you have enough space for the other half. That'll work. So that's where we're gonna put. I'm gonna start with the bottom. If some of the glue seeps out, especially this glue, this is reptile glue, you can just wipe it off. And what I love about this glue is that it doesn't leave a sticky residue and it wipes right off. There are some glues that if they do seep out and you wipe it off, it leaves either the shininess or it remains sticky. Not this one, as long as you catch it before it dries. wipe it clean so here in the front we didn't add glue so now we can place our paper clips That's it.